Well, who says science doesn't play a part in our everyday lives? Kids are learning that firsthand here in Milwaukee with a new program called First Robotics. It aims to inspire future careers in science and technology. And please welcome right now Renee Becker and Greg Rupnick, some students who participate in the First Robotics program, and Paul Utronka, who is a mentor. Thank you all so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. Well, Paul, why don't you go ahead and start and tell us about this program? Uh, this program, it, we belong to the FIRST Robotics team, uh, UPS, and FIRST stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and te Technology. And this program brings mentors who um, are in the professional world, uh, engineers and scientists, together with students to complete a task. Mm -hmm. And it's usually a pretty impossible task, but somehow they get it done each and every year. Wow, I couldn't imagine. Greg, how did you get involved? Um, it was actually my junior year in high school. My friend had done it the year before, and he was like, man, you have to do this. This is like the greatest thing ever. So I went down to the Milwaukee Regional the year before, and then I just was hooked. We're looking at some pictures. What's, what's this picture of? This is actually the team in Atlanta at Nationals last year. It's just mm -hmm. the team photo in front of the first banner. And Renee, maybe you can help describe I mean, describe how this all works. Well, there's a six-week build period in which, um, in the beginning, you get this a certain task. So mm. this year, the task is called overdrive. And what the robot has to do is it has to basically race around a circular track. It's about the size of a basketball court. And the robot has to hurdle a 40-inch track ball okay. over these overpasses to gain points. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What have you learned since you got involved? Well, I've learned a lot. Um, uh, I've learned how to build a robot in six weeks, first off. Um, I enjoy doing more of the like um, paperwork, I guess you'd call it. I write the papers for the team. I enjoy writing a chairman's paper. This basically describes what the team has done to reach out to the community and involve students with FIRST, and um, I like doing that a lot. And you have an event coming up. Greg, do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, we have the uh, Wisconsin Regional. It's uh, the 13th through the 15th. It's at the... Bradley Center? The, yeah. Okay. The U.S. Cellular. Yeah, the, the U.S. Cellular. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's what, 9 to 5? Mm -hmm. 9, 9 to, to 5. 5, free admission. Just come down, check it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. And we do have all that information on our website. You can link to it. Just go to todaystmj4.com and click on links, and then we'll be right back. Thank you.